Alright y'all, what is going on guys, and today we're back with another banger video, and in today's video, as you can tell by the title, we do have a room ideas video, I guess you could say, so in this video I'm going to be taking you guys through some of the shelving, some of the, just the cool things you could have in your room, whether it's cheap, whether it's a little bit more expensive, but honestly, nothing in this video is really like expensive, like I feel like everything I found like the best quality things for just good prices, so this is a room idea video, I've been seeing a lot of comments asking me to do a video like this, so I figured I would because I have a lot of things in my room and stuff that like, you know, I do want to get one day or just things that I think are cool that I see online and I know where they're from, so don't worry, I'm going to be showing you guys where to get everything that I talk about i'm gonna put up pictures i'm gonna show everything so yeah nonetheless if you're new to the channel make sure you take a second out of your day hit that subscribe button because we post every other day which is probably better than your favorite youtuber unless of course i'm your favorite youtuber so now that all the talking is out of the way let's just get into this before i even put down the camera let me take you through the stuff that's actually in my apartment that i want to recommend and that i genuinely like and like you know maybe stuff that i don't like as well but definitely good to help organize your room just make stuff stand out cool shelving things and just all that so we're gonna get into this so starting off a lot of the shelves that you guys see in my videos are actually from ikea or some stuff from amazon or target those are like the main three honestly ikea amazon and target are like the main three when it comes to like shelving and storage and stuff so the first shelf that we have is obviously the white one right here i'm not going to talk too much about it you guys see this one enough it is the lack shelf the ikea lack shelf so i'll put up the picture now but these shelves are from ikea so whenever you see these type of shelvings, they are from Ikea. It's called the Lack Shelf. Like literally, you can buy ones that are just this literally one shelf. You can buy the long ones that are good for like sneaker walls. Like if you really want to make a sneaker wall, I highly recommend getting the really long ones. I know a lot of people do buy these ones and put like the shoes individually. But I feel like in terms of money and style wise, like if you're going to put a lot of shoes, I would not buy a bunch of the single ones. You know what I mean? I feel like you should definitely just buy the long ones, put them into the wall, nail them into the wall, hang them however you want to do it and just get a bunch so you want seven rows one two three four five six seven seven rows like this just get the just get the long one just buy seven of the long ones i know it might be more money but it's definitely less than less money than buying seven of these to line up next to each other because i see people that literally buy a bunch of these and line them up next to each other i'm like bro you could have just bought the shelf saved yourself some money and honestly, I feel like the long shelf is going to hold more than just buying a bunch of the single ones. So, yeah, that's just my opinion. But if you just want the clean look of just like one shelf, you don't have 50 plus shoes and you just want to have seven shoes displayed or Legos, your Funkos, whatever you want, your manga, whatever you're into that you're watching this channel for, that you're watching this video for, this is definitely one of the best display shelves. Like, I personally like the white color the best. It's just simple. It's a nice little like box thing and it just makes everything kind of pop that's on the shelf. So, highly recommend the LAC shelf from Ikea. Now, the sh other shelf that I have in my apartment that a lot of people ask about is my main shelf right here, which I'm definitely going to reorganize in a little bit because it did get a little bit crowded, but you'll see that in an upcoming vlog or something. But um, yeah, I have like my manga on here, my Funko Pops. I used to have shoes on here, but I tried to move my shoes more out into like, you know, actual shoe racks. So those are from Target, by the way, but we're not here to talk about those. This one is from Ikea. So this like black steel, it's got um, glass right underneath. And then all the way at the bottom, it is black wood. And I believe on the top, it's black wood as well so it's only glass right here but these are really nice shelves and it's just like a nice like tv thing now again like i said if you want to get like actual bookshelves and stuff like that we'll get to that this is just what's in my apartment and what i have at the moment so these ones not bad at all whoa i'm literally talking about furniture right now but anyway yeah I feel like these are definitely better for single things, but if you do have a lot of stuff, these ones are definitely good for like, if you have a lot of things, cause they are pretty big, they're pretty wide as well, definitely wider than like a bookshelf or wider than those ones. So yeah, if you have a lot of stuff, I feel like this is definitely a nice thing. And yeah, you just buy one, it's not a whole set. So this is just, just this is one thing right here, boom. And that's another thing right there. Now, before we move on to things that I don't own and just other cool, you know, shelving ideas, um, definitely the thing that I made in my apartment, which is definitely original in my opinion. I haven't seen anybody do it. I don't know. Maybe I'm bugging, but it is these Lego cubes that you can hang up as shelves. Like, I'm pretty sure everybody's used them as shelves, like the people that bought them. But in the formula, I did it. Like, they're cool to just get. You can stack on top of each other, too. They do connect. Um, I hung mine in, like, the circle pattern. But these, this, I think, is $30. This one is $20. Um, there is a pack where you could buy both of them for $35. So, if you can get the two... In, instead of buying individual definitely do that but yeah this is just like a little like lego brick wall and you can hang them you can stack them different ways you don't even got to hang them you can stack them on the floor stack them up do something different and they actually do hold a lot like for like a shelf like it's not bad i'm, I'm gonna keep it a buck it's not bad like you see how much stuff i have on these little shelves there's a lot in these little things like even on the little ones there's still a lot of figures and just other stuff that i have in there another cool thing just like little accessories is obviously we do have like a rolling cart this you could find at target amazon there's ones on amazon i believe for like 20 30 dollars 
nothing too crazy again this is the shoe rack from target i just moved the shoe rack over here and i put my manga on it so definitely a nice little touch so now that i mentioned everything that's in my apartment let's get into stuff that i don't own and stuff that i actually do like and maybe one day even want to get so you guys did see obviously you saw my big shelf the black one cool get that out of the way that does retail for $65 so that is a $65 shelf individually again a little bit more on the expensive side but it is good quality and actual like a really nice shelf um, you guys saw the lac shelves the white ones uh, those are cool which are my lac shelves and other people obviously use them for sneakers and different things like that like this guy this is the one I was kind of talking about like I don't understand the point of buying five individual of those. Like, yeah, it does look cool. Like, I'm not saying it doesn't. But you could have bought the long shelf and did the same exact thing and put the lights underneath as well. It's just like, in terms of money, for people that want to save money, I feel like buying the actual long ones will save you money instead of buying five of these. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe if somebody does the math. But the lack shelves by themselves are $100 each, whereas the long word shelf is only $25. And there's a longer version that I think is like, 40 or 30 something dollars but again that's still half the price and it's you're saving money by buying the long ones basically like and this is what somebody's collection looks like with the long shelf so not bad that person doesn't have it as nicely styled as the other person with like the funkos and the lights and stuff but that's what you can do you can make it unique and make it your own you can put some plants on it if you want all that type of stuff whatever you're into you could put on that but highly recommend the long ones if you have a lot of stuff but for single use like as you guys saw i have one over here and one over there of the little of the thin lac shelves they're just spread apart from each other they're not really lined up um another cool thing that i saw that i don't have is actually like these like little clear shelves they're these little tiny clear shelves you can get them on amazon uh six pack is like 14 dollars a 10 pack is 21 and basically like I just saw like somebody you know put a bunch of Funkos on them or like a bunch of figures whatever you want to do I saw Funkos and then I think I seen like a, maybe a little bit bigger like single shelf but people put their shoes like and it looks like they're all floating on the wall so it's like a clear shelving system and you could just put your things and they look like they're floating on the wall which is definitely a cool feature so again if you want to do something different I think that's a pretty nice one now something I really want to get one day again not right now, but someday in the future is something I really want to get is actual bookshelves. So Ikea does have a lot of bookshelves, but I really want to like do my manga and my Funko Pops and even my Legos and me, maybe even my sneakers. Who knows? Maybe I'll put it all on one, but I do want to have a library one day. And that is one of my goals. So this is cool. Like, you know, again, you don't have to use it for that, but this is what I was thinking for. Like, you know, like a manga type shelving system or again, whatever you're into. And it's just like, I don't know. I really do like these shelves and these shelves are from Ikea. Like even like this Funko one is crazy with like all the Funko figures on it. And then they have the black version as well. Obviously everything comes in pretty much black and white. Sometimes you can find like a cool stain of wood if you want to go for like a different route and not just do the white and black like everybody else. But yeah, those are just some of the options. And again, I'm not just talking manga like bookshelves are definitely a good investment just in terms of like everything you could fit so much on like these bookshelves from ikea they are called the billy bookcase pretty sure everybody knows what these ones are they're 90 dollars each not bad honestly for how much it stores and it's cheaper than the lac shelf the lac shelf is nice though just for the simple fact that of how thick it is like it is a lot thicker than the billy bookcase but doesn't hold as much as a billy bookcase so yeah and it's not aesthetically as it's not as aesthetically pleasing as the lac shelf but again it's a it's a bookshelf it's a bookshelf it's not supposed to be so yeah but again those pictures i showed y'all i felt like the per those people did them right they looked aesthetically pleasing in terms of what they were being used for so yeah there's also like a skinnier bookshelf on amazon uh, i just typed in literally manga shelf on amazon and it popped up and it's only 38 dollars and it doesn't look bad honestly it has one two three four five rows so it's a five tier bookshelf and it comes in white black wood french oak and a bunch of different colors and you can even go for even smaller ones you can get like the two tier one the cube ones there's like a bunch of different sizes that you could get for these type of bookshelves off amazon and saves you a lot of money and if you don't have the space for like an actual bookshelf i feel like the cubes are definitely nice and then getting into actual like room access not accessories but things to put your accessories on because again like this is a room ideas video so i'm assuming you have stuff that you want to display in your room and that's why you're watching this video whether again it's your sneakers anime stuff Funkos, whatever you're into, manga, like that type of stuff. Um, I definitely feel like things to display on your shelves, if that makes sense. So say I have a, I have my black shelves over there, right? But on those shelves, I might put like a little like three step shelf that I get off of Amazon, which has like more figures on it. So it could like level the shelf up a little bit. And it just looks like this. It's like they're like $15 from Amazon. They're not that expensive and they hold a lot. They hold like honestly like nine to 12 Funkos, depending what size you get. 
and just whatever else you're into too there's other types of platforms and stuff that you can do and yeah that's just cool to put on like an actual shelf so like obviously if you get the lack shelf you get the big the other shelf over there and you want to put some more and you don't have enough space on the shelf say you filled up all your shelves just get something to stack on the shelves and make it not look as a mess like not all bunched up and just have you know like a little like platform to raise everything that's already on the shelves because a lot of my shelves honestly like since it is very tall the stuff in it only goes like halfway so I could put something behind it and stack it up to fill up and maximize the shelf usage. And then another thing that I don't own, but I really wish I did, but again, it's just I don't have the space for it. Um, I noticed they became really popular over the last year. Um, honestly, ever since like TikTok, like streetwear videos and stuff like that, but it is just like, you know, like a visible clothing rack. Like, I don't know, I really do like the way that visible clothing racks look. Um, something about it like whether it's a nice one just a cheap one from Target you can get but there's a lot of different clothing racks some have shelves on them and I just like the way it looks to have like clothing hung, like your nicest pieces of clothing hung up a little shelf next to it with like a plant maybe a book and like a pair of shoes and it just looks aesthetically pleasing and it's just something cool and I don't know I just I, I just like that look and I do want to have that one day in like my little office type area and just have like my favorite pieces out and stuff like that because all my clothes is in the closet not that I want to display my clothes necessarily but it's still cool to just have like you know your favorite pieces out on a little shelf and it just looks nice Other thing that I want to do as well that I don't own is like a pegboard So what I mean by that is like I have a lot of keychains like a lot of keychains If you know in like a tool in like a workshop Maybe in I don't know if your parents have like a garage or like a shed or like if your dad and mom or whatever it is It's like very into working like if you know what a pegboard is it's like one of those like wooden things or it could be metal and it has like you know little things hanging out that you hang the tools up on um but i want to get like an aesthetic one obviously and like a wood one or like a, just a white wood one and have like little pegs on it and just hang all my keychains on it so that's something that i would do but again whatever you're into you can hang on it but i feel like a pegboard is definitely cool and different like this person made like a big pegboard i'm talking about more like a small one but this one is super tough and like that looks fire yeah and then obviously artwork is a big thing i feel like artwork you can get anywhere artwork you could print out anywhere your own artwork you could get it printed laminated framed all that stuff there's so much stuff and a lot of people ask me like i never realized like I guess a lot of people don't realize that it's not that hard to find like artwork like there's so many companies and so many different brands and so many different artists that actually make artwork and sell their artwork or just images online that you like like I made a whole wall out of manga panels like that's low-key art like I took a manga book apart and I pasted it all on my wall that was a $10 book I made a whole wall out of it in my apartment and it looks cool that's something you can't buy but it but it's something you can make so a lot of DIY stuff is definitely encouraged in when making like you know cool room ideas and cool stuff like oh Paul like I want to make my room cool you have any suggestions honestly bro DIY like just do whatever you want any cool idea that comes to your head just try something different and yeah that's just that's honestly all my uh, my room ideas um hope you guys did enjoy so uh yeah, if you have any recommendations, comment down below. I know a lot of people like, like you know, like simple hacks, like, you know, like hanging your sneaker box with like some push pins. Like I've seen that before too. And just like cheaper alternatives. There's definitely a lot. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you have any suggestions, comment it down below. And uh, maybe you could help somebody out down below in the comment section. Hopefully this video gave you some ideas. And hopefully you go, you know, spice up your room a little bit. So anyway, that's pretty much it for today. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. And we out. Bye. Can't get caught, I'ma been different states My mama blowing up my phone, seeing if I'm okay I had to get up out the hood, find a 